Hi everyone, welcome back to Electronics Geek. I am Ajay. So today we have four to five updates for you, and two or three updates are for fresh candidate, and one or two updates are for experienced candidate. So we will be seeing step by step everything. Plus, also we are going to discuss how you can craft your resume so that the chance of getting shortlisting will be high. So if you like the effort, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So let's start with today's update. So Snopsys has announced two programs. The first one is an apprentice program and second was an internship program. Apprentice program is for the Bangalore location and internship program is for the Hyderabad location. Okay. So let me tell you about the difference between internship and apprenticeship. So apprenticeship is basically, uh, it is an uh, initiative by the government of India to make you a skilled uh, employee. Okay. So basically this is for the skill thing means you will be working on some project and you will getting some uh, hand on experience. Similarly, in the internship, you will do the same work. But here the chances is you can convert into the full time employee if you perform very well in the intensive opportunity okay so this is the difference so duration for both the program is 12 month whether you apply for the apprenticeship or whether you apply for the intensive program okay and 2024 and 2025 batch are only eligible for this particular program if you are from b b tech in electronics electrical uh, telecommunication or vlsi then you guys can easily apply for this application i am tech candidate are not eligible for this program now coming to the skill section through which you will get shortlist. So the first one is you should have the good knowledge of system Verilog, Verilog and UVM or OVM. So these are the basic requirement of the company. Apart from this, you should have the good programming skills plus um, scripting languages like Python, Perl. So you should know these things. Okay, so these are the basic things. And apart from this, if you want to get shortlist in this particular company, so how you will be crafting your resume? So your resume should be like, first thing is you should mention those skills which is already present in the company website, right? The, the job description part. Second thing is the projects part. So how you will justify your skill set? You will justify your skills through the projects. The projects, whichever you have done in your training or in your college days whatever you did right so your project should justify the skill set you possess so if you are writing like system verilog verilog ovm or uvm so you should make some projects related to those domain itself okay and if you want to increase the chances then you should add industry standard projects like uh, bluetooth ahb protocols Okay, it means the higher standard protocols. So make sure you add those skills in your resume and how you should frame it or if you want to learn more in depth. So you guys can always connect with me on one to one resume building session. Link will be in the description. So moving on. So you will be applying through this directly clicking on apply. Okay, so I will not go in depth like how you can create a profile and how to log in and all. So I will just give you the brief overview like you should create a profile there you need to upload your resume and you need to fill out your basic details your name and details okay and then just submit your profile that's it so this is not that much hard as you think okay so just try okay and if you find any difficulties do let me know in the comment section and one more thing please try to apply as soon as possible because these opportunities get uh, filled very fast okay so the next opportunity is from the amd they are hiring for the software system designer and for the bangalore location so this is also for the fresh candidate Date. so if you have a bachelor's degree master degree electrical or mathematics computer science engineering or equivalent means even the electronics candidate can apply for this particular application okay if it is not written so don't worry like they have written equivalent right electrical electronics both are similar and mathematics computer science yani ki bsc candidate also apply because they haven't mentioned particularly like uh, the engineering candidate will apply or the uh, science candidate will apply right so they have mentioned if you have done like bsc in mathematics so then also you can apply for this particular role it's not a big deal so the thing is like you should know the things whichever they are asking for like you should have an excellent knowledge of micro architectural microprocessor arm architecture so these skills are very basic excellent programming or debugging skills plus c c plus plus so these are the skills which is required by the company so make sure you should match the job description in your resume as well just change it according to the job requirement okay so moving on to the next opportunity from qualcomm they are hiring dsp processor rtl design engineer and uh, here the experience is required about three to three plus years okay uh, so if you have a bachelor's degree in computer science electrical electronics 
or related field then you guys can apply and if you have an mtech degree then three year of experience is required if you have a phd then two year of experience is required basically so this is just an overview i've given you for the qualcomm so next one is from the toshiba they are hiring for the principal engineer chief design front end and they haven't mentioned like whether this is for the experienced candidate or and also just they have mentioned the job description like what are the things they required for associate design rtl coder verification planner okay project manager so they are hiring the candidate who have the these background so they have also given for which role they are hiring chip level verification rtl design and quality verification architect design constant creation and synthesis chip level assembly power system design testing on board uh, evolution power simulation so basically so if you are from the vlsi domain so you should be aware of these things right so if you know these things so you can apply for this directly click on easy apply and fill out the basic details and other than this what you can do is just click on message like here you can see uh the person who is hiring in the toshiba is the talent acquisition in toshiba so you just need to message him okay narendra is there so you just message narin uh what about the skills you have and do not just send hi and hello if you will message like this then you will completely reject it so make sure you should be very professional use chat gpt or any other ai tool to message uh, to the recruiter or the talent hunt so that the chance of getting shortlisting will be high next one is from the nvidia they are hiring verification engineer hardware for bangalore and hyderabad location so this is posted 30 days ago but it is still alive so try to apply as soon as possible here the experience is required if you have b b tech or M M tech in with three years of experience in verification domain then you are eligible for this particular role and when here when you scroll down here you will also find other opportunities like similar jobs you can apply for senior verification engineer df engineer uh, please check it out uh, whether you are eligible for these roles or not okay so next one is from the mtech they are hiring for electronics engineer for bangalore location and uh, this is here also like experience is required minimum three year of experience uh, hand-on experience in electronic design and development so if you are a bachelor's degree that is b b tech in electronics or electrical or mem tech then you guys can apply for this particular application okay so last one is from the ampere they are hiring a design verification engineer soc ip pro uh, management and uh, your five year of experience is required if you have a b b tech in electronics and electrical or m tech with three year of experience so if we get any other updates so we will uh, just inform you on our telegram channel so make sure to join our telegram channel there you will get the updates directly and for weekly updates you guys can subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure to apply as soon as possible all the links are in the descriptions as well as in the comment sections and always remember never pay for jobs these jobs are directly sourced from the official pages and you will get direct link in the description